Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dominic Tasconi, Thread Rolling Application Specialist at LMT Tools USA. This is the second installment of our Axial EvoLine training video series focused on blank preparation. Today I will be explaining how your material should be prepared for the thread rolling process. From the chamfer, through the threaded portion, to the undercut, I will provide initial setup conditions and guidelines. Lastly, I will explain why shoulder clearance is important and how to avoid unwanted collisions. Chamfering provides a ramp for the rolls to enter the part. During the rolling process, material is pushed forward, raising the chamfer angle at the front of the part. Tool life will suffer if chamfers are steeper than 30 degrees. Undercuts require an equal chamfer angle and relief diameter, which is less than or equal to the entry diameter. The undercut prevents the rolls from scratching the relief diameter and allows a female part to fasten completely to the adjacent shoulder. The threaded diameter must be prepared as a straight cylindrical feature. This diameter should be near the average pitch diameter of the finished thread. Controlling the blank diameter is important for process security and success. Small changes to this diameter can greatly affect the final thread dimensions. Typically, changes in the blank diameter are amplified by two to five times on the major diameter. More information about modifying this diameter will come in part four of this video series. Here you can see a CNC lathe preparing a thread rolling blank. The blank diameter is turned to the average pitch diameter. And lastly, a chamfer is prepared at 30 degrees. Shoulders are defined as features having diameters larger than the pitch diameter of the thread. Axial rolling heads require a certain distance between the last full thread and the nearest shoulder, often called a runout distance. If the shoulder has a relatively small diameter, we only need to concern ourselves with the lead distance on the rolls. If the shoulder cannot enter the front plate, more runout distance is required. Please refer to our catalog for these specific dimensions. Here you will witness our F2 Evo axial thread rolling head form a half inch by 20 thread onto the previously prepared blank. This concludes the second installment of this video series. You should now have the tools assembled, a blank prepared, and be ready to roll your first part. In the next video, we will discuss installing the tool and CNC programming. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.